Levántalo. Venga, venga. Vamos a ver un poquito. Levántalo. Up, 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 up. Levántalo. Ah, good boy. Ahí, ahí, ahí. Ya no lo puedo ver. No me meto, no me meto. 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 Camera just for one second. Okay. We have a bit of Winter. variety in this class. Um, we have here number 19. A, l a large male, lots to like about him. His, his flues are very loose. You can see in the corner of his lips here, his flues, ha flues hang quite a bit. Just ru ruins the overall pressure on the head. 
also on the nasal bridge, on top of the muzzle, he's got this like, rise, o rise over the muzzle, it should be level. That nasal bridge should be level. And very good stride when, when he moves, but he doesn't sort of hold his shape well, and he's got quite a bit of length here. And it's something that's sort of becoming quite common in the breed now. Uh, the rock bugs should be a compact dog. Um, I know we talked talk about the ideal being like nine, nine, nine to ten ratio for height to length. The FCI standard says the length should be not more than 15, 15% additional on the height. Um, so quite a lot of length there and it shows on the move because he loses his shape. So today it's a very good SG. Okay, we have here um, a, a large male, there's lots to like about him, uh, got the dark eyes, lovely eye shape, uh, a very, very, very clean uh, top, uh, top skull for his head, got a very nice, very, very nice uh, uh, top line. Uh, perhaps we'd like to see a little bit more sort of fit and feel, feel around the cheek there. Um, on the move, he was sort of not not exactly giving his best. You can see when he goes, he's got a really nice stride on him, uh, but very distracted by other things going on around him. So fourth place today, V4. Uh, number 18, 19, 19 months of age. He's um, uh, nice, nice, nice compact dog. Um, strong, well-developed head, it's a broad skull. Um, muzzle quite wide. Ideally, you'd like to have that muzzle a bit longer. Uh, it's it's a, a, a bit on the edge with regard to being short. We talk a lot about muzzles. Now we should have this, uh, you know, 60, 60 percent, 4 percent, one and a half to one, or three to two, whichever whichever formula you use. Is uh, you know, we should have that correct balance of, of, of top skull to muzzle. A bit on the short side, but say overall, overall, very, very, uh, very, 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 very pleasant. Good expression, and he's uh, he's uh, excellent three. Good job, excellent. Okay, uh, this is my one guy between these two dogs. Quite different dogs in many respects. Um, really like this uh, this this dog's head. Nice broad skull, uh, lovely dark eye. Again, broad muzzle. Again, Perhaps I put a little bit more length on the, on the muzzle, but nevertheless, it's, it's uh, certainly within with, uh, exceptional range. Um, he's a bit longer than I would like. Again, another one's a bit long, longer, longer casting body. Uh, would like to see him a little bit more compact. When we're moving round, and um, this one, my main reason why I changed over, he was losing shape, he was dropping his head. Uh, he was, instead of just looking ahead and going, he was tends to drop his head, uh, lose his shape, his top line starts to go, and obviously he's got that bit of length. He's got excellent stride when he goes. It just, uh, j just, just needs to be a bit more fo focused when he's moving and not literally like digging in and going down. But an excellent dog anyway, so that's V2, excellent so. Okay, this one, well, he's the odd one out so far. This is a dock dog, and um, what I like about him, I think what, uh, what, what I like about him more than anything else is his oh is, is compactness, got a lovely length of body, got a, got a short loin, and he's got excellent top and underlines. And despite the compactness, he still has, very often we see the compact dogs, you perhaps lose some ang angulation uh, fr front and back, and, and uh, this dog still has excellent front angulation, He's got a lovely fore chest, uh, stands very straight on the front, good angulation on the back, and when he when he moves, is I suppose he's not that, that dynamic dog that really puts out, really stretches out in the front and flies away. It's a strong movement, it's not exaggerated movement, but most of all, his absolute shape doesn't change. Um, when we're talking about movement, uh, we want to see efficient movement, so they drive from the back and everything goes forward with that drive in one unit. You want this sort of real, real strong core, so as I push it from the back, the whole dog goes forward. 
where it's supposed to, when you get softer top lines, it breaks and you lose the efficiency. And this dog really did excel, excel in that area. So today, V1, excellent one. Yeah. Yeah.